everyone. Welcome back to Virtual Programming with Boys and Girls Clubs of the Fox Valley. My name is Miss Chelsea and I work at the Downtown Club here in Appleton. What if I told you that you could turn an ordinary toilet paper tube into a wiggly octopus or a super cute box? So, I bet that just like me, you have a lot of these empty tubes lying around your house, and rather than throwing them away, I thought we could use them for an art project. So if you're interested in figuring out how to turn this into this, you're gonna wanna stick around for the video. Let's grab our materials first. For this project, you will need one toilet paper tube for each animal you're going to make. Um, do your best to make sure all the extra toilet paper is pulled off. You will also need some coloring supplies. I am actually using Sharpies today because I think the color will show up a little better but any type of markers or crayons will also work well too. You will want some blank paper that you can draw and cut out on, a pair of scissors, and some glue. So now that we have our materials ready, let's get started. To make our toilet paper tube box, we're going to start by coloring our entire toilet paper tube orange. So why don't we go ahead and do that. Now that we've colored in our toilet paper tube, what we're going to do is we're gonna take one of the ends here and we're gonna kind of push it together so that it folds kind of in half. And we're gonna pinch the tips so that they stay folded down. If you'd like, you can add a little dab of glue here to hold it down, but it's not really necessary. It will stay down by itself. So now if you look, we have some little fox ears there at the top of our toilet paper tube. So what we're going to do now is set our toilet paper tube aside and grab our piece of paper. And we're going to draw a couple things on our paper here. We're gonna draw two little triangles for our fox's ears. And then we're also going to draw a heart shape for his face. And then the last thing we're going to draw is a big fluffy tail. Now, fox tails are usually kind of a teardrop shape and they have little spikes on the end where the tail is white. So we can go ahead and color in our tail and add some eyes and a nose to our fox face. Now that we've colored our fox features, we can go ahead and cut them out and glue them onto our fox toilet paper tube. If you'd like, you can color the back of the tail because that will also be sticking out um, that you can see from the front and the back. So why don't we go ahead and cut those out and glue them on. Now that you've glued on your fox features, if you would like, you can always add some little paws at the bottom or any type of fur marks on his body. The rest of it is up to you. For our octopus, we're again going to color him all over the entire tube. So go ahead and pick your favorite color. I'm going to make mine blue. Let's get going and color our toilet paper tube. Now that our octopus is colored, what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and cut about halfway up the bottom to make eight tentacles. So I find it's easiest to cut both sides kind of in half. 
and then split them into four tentacles. So let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have those tentacles, we can go ahead and fold them outward so that when your octopus sits down, they spread out just like that. Now, if you would like, you can go ahead and draw some suckers on the bottom of your octopus feet. That's completely up to you. What we're gonna do next is make the eyes and the face and then our octopus will be done. So here are the two little critters we made today, our fox and our octopus. How did yours turn out? If you followed along with the project or made your own animal, I would love to see it. So please do share or comment on this video. This is a project that can be adapted to almost any kind of animal you like. If you look on the internet, there's plenty of ideas from elephants to puppies to cats to birds to bears. It's all there. So please be creative and make this project into your own. Thanks for joining along with today's art project. As always, I'm super proud of each and every one of you for continuing to learn and grow every day while we have to be at home. I wish each and every one of you all the best, and I'll see you on the next video.